beginning a process is always different for me choreographically. For this one, I actually pulled upon a, an influence that I had when I was a teenager. So it's from a, a work that I created when I was about 16, 17, so the age of the Ballet Central students. And I took inspiration from the music, from the actual title of that uh, initial piece, which was Night Flight by On Trio. And so coming back to it this time and finding a different iteration of it, I had some idea of what the steps might be, but I really had the music from Philip Feeney to drive me. One of the great things about um, working with Ballet Central is that I get to work with lots of visiting choreographers. So it's always, um, it's always exciting because they come with different, completely different things. Um, what I, gen I tend to do is to give them a bit of a um, soundbite menu, so um, like, like so they can choose. I gave uh, did I think it was about six pieces, little little small pieces um, for, for Carolyn, which I she'd spoken a little bit how th that it was going to be something that to do with the with the the sky, the cosmos, or something. So I could get get into that world, and, and then you can give th um, five or six different uh, ideas. And it doesn't really have a storyline, but it has a lot of themes of, of like birds. Um, and yeah, it's been a great experience. Uh, very new, working with like a new choreographer that none of us have worked with. I don't know if I'm the most organized. <laughs> I like a bit of chaos. I like, like a bit of um, magic. So mm, chance, I think, seeing how things might unfold. Um, and that doesn't mean that I don't have a structure, uh, but it does mean that I have a flexible working strategy in the space. And I, I came in this time um, almost with like a safety net for the dancers uh, because I like to work with games and to see how they can collaborate and, and pull out things uh, in a surprising way, so sometimes improvisation. But for this, I came in with six phrases. I taught the phrases um, and then I started to sort of manipulate the material or get them to alter and play with the material so that we had a, a sort of palette of colors to play with in the space. So it's been great to learn uh, from Carolyn, learning the neoclassical side because we haven't had much experience in that side. So it's been really fun to actually bring the ballet still with point but in a very contemporary way, like expanding our movements and body but with still technique, classical technique. I trained uh, in Vaganova technique, so years and years of ballet training. I was introduced to Balanchine works, so I danced Balanchine works myself uh, when I was back in America. Um, and so I think I've always had a sort of fusion or uh, influence and a drive to take the classical technique and see how I could expand upon it. Uh, and I think my influences from Graham and Cunningham and the Balanchine coming here thinking about how can I, 
How can I challenge the dancers to get off the leg? How can I challenge them to fall? Um, how can I challenge them to take a risk and to trust that uh, they will be there for each other? You know, so yeah, ballet has always been yeah there at the core of my training. The piece is around 10 minutes and the music just helps, it just matches together with the piece.